Okay, so, as much as you want to be here, getting therapy, you're instead here, wondering, how do I even get therapy? That's a great question. A perfect question, in fact, because this is... What is therapy episode three? All right already, I want therapy, but how do I get therapy? Is there an app I can use, or is it more difficult than that? Unfortunately, it's a little bit more difficult than that. The system is far from perfect, but we are going to do our best to give you everything you need, starting with therapy's most asked questions, as judged by us. So, let's get started. I hope Dr. Zach, a man who writes his own Wikipedia page, can keep up. In general, speaking to your doctor is a great place to start, as many will have recommendations from experience. You can also chat to your friends or family about it. It's a safe bet that one of them has seen someone over the years and has some advice for you. You can also do a bit of your own research. There are plenty of good websites, even if they're all butterflies and soothing purple vibes. At first, to be honest, you're not gonna have a lot to go on. So trust the referral from your doctor or any advice from your friends and family. Calling to book instead of doing it online is also a good way to see how you feel about a person or a place. After that, be practical. What location and time works best for you? Honestly, you're just looking for a human being you feel comfortable connecting with. There's no secret source here. If they give you the heebie-jeebies, you feel judged or looked down upon, or they keep laughing at the wrong time, probably best to move on and keep looking. But it's just like dating, so don't expect sparks to fly immediately. You're trying to build trust here, and that takes time. Don't bail just because they pronounce your name wrong or they've got shit art in their waiting room. Importantly, they don't need to have had your life experience to be able to help. So don't assume they don't get you. Stick around to find out. Sessions typically last around 50 minutes. Some therapists do provide longer sessions, though you just need to ask. In terms of how many sessions, the annoying answer is that it depends. It depends. It depends how you're going, how busy the therapist is, what your aims are, and most importantly, your preferences. Personally, I tend to see my clients fortnightly at first, and then shift to monthly when the time's right. You don't. But to get a rebate through Medicare or some private health insurers, you'll want one. Unfortunately, it depends. It depends. And this shit ain't cheap. But there is good reason for that. We'll provide more detailed information on costs later. But for now, please know that there are options available if money is tight. I hate to say it again, but it depends. It depends. Like, you might not have to. Some therapists offer sessions outside of business hours. Lots of therapists now also provide telehealth or therapy over Zoom, which allows you to tune in whenever and wherever works for you. I've had clients call in from a McDonald's on top of a mountain and even in the bathroom at work, which I don't recommend. The point is, whatever your situation, it can be done. We know we haven't answered all your questions. Things like... And we also haven't fully explained the big one. Cost. Well... Yeah. We're one step ahead of you. Go to this link. It's a website. And it has all the information that we went through and more. Much more. Use it for yourself or be a cool dude and share it with a friend. OK, chat soon. See ya. <clears throat> Oh, yes. Okay, there we are. Mm.